Today we've got Salford Seconds versus Chester Seconds in the home leg of Varsity. It's a very rainy Wednesday. It's going to be a really wet game. What do you what do you think the game's going to go like today? Do you think Salford's going to win or? Well, we've seen the seconds, you know, quite often, and you know we've seen the first as well. I believe, I believe. Um, of course, Chester's first have a great reputation, but. We're looking at team two. Uh, you know, look, I saw that lineup today. Finn, I think you did as well. A good few first first team players, which I'm looking forward to seeing how they'll react. And yeah, very optimistic. What about you, Chas? Up? Yeah, you know that was that's what makes me confident. I've seen yeah. players like Annie Flanagan, who's been brilliant this season um, in the in the seconds team. Usually first team players. So against Chester seconds, I think um, Salford should be really confident with the players we have on the pitch. So. Uh, it'll be an exciting game. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, and um, I've looked at it. They've had a few keeper like issues over the season. Finn, we're now on Katie Jenkinson. <laughs> she loves a save, but she also loves an injury. She does indeed, unless she finds herself out today. We're hoping, though, that there could be a little half-time appearance, is, is what I'm being told. But it's going to be a big change for Salford today, because obviously uh, the seconds usually play nine a side mm. on a Thursday, and I'm pretty sure the seconds of Chester usually do play 11 a side. So it's that adjustment to that change. Just going to have to see how Salford deal with it. Be up it's for like, it. It's like, yeah, I think they'll be up for it. And I, I, I'm hoping they can bring home the win today. It's the big one. The 13th of March. The blue and yellow of Salford taking on the white and red of Chester. It's the one the women seconds have been waiting for. Chester at home. It's a big one. It's varsity. Bix Williams joined with Finn Lagerner for I think the third time watching the seconds oh, this season. Listen. The third time. <laughs> We've seen them three times this season, Finn. We How are indeed. You, man? I am brilliant. And listen, it's a great day. Well, it's not a great day, it's a very soggy day, but good crowd here for a bit of a Salford women's seconds versus Chester women's seconds here. As you said, for varsity. We're very excited. And yeah, I think this is the third time we've uh, we've covered. The, uh, yeah, no, the, women's the, third, seconds. the third time. Third time. Um, we love we, it. We, we've been seeing a lot of their home games, you know. That's the exclusivity you get from Salford Spot. We <laughs> we love every team here. And, you know, we, we've seen them three times. We just we just love it. Oh, we do. We do indeed. Um, we love covering every sport and every team, you know what I mean? And today will be an interesting one because the Salford women's seconds have been in relatively good form bit since we started covering them. And obviously they usually do play nine aside. We're switching today for eleven aside for varsity, the spectacle oh. of university football. And it'll just be about how they adjust to that and you know how they play the game. Of course, of course. And we we are soon to approach kickoff. Um and I'm just I'm just so excited. I've I've uh, heard news Salford will be lining up in a four three three. Okay. Lovely formation. Uh it's just, it just encourages passing, it encourages spacing, and it encourages attacking football. Both keepers checked, the bench is screaming, and we are underway. Here we go. And Finn, you know, early doors. Who are you looking forward to seeing today? Listen. Oh, wait there, Bix. Oh, you attack here for Salford. And it is going to result in a, the first corner of the game. Only about 30 seconds into the match. But listen, I think the one to watch today is, without doubt, Annie Flanagan. You know, I think usually plays for the first. Yeah. And she, listen, she's brilliant for the first. I really like her as a player. So playing seconds football, you know, dr dropping that step down. I think we're going to see how good Annie Flanagan really is today. And I think Chester are going to struggle to get past her. She's the rock at the back. She doesn't just offer a really good technical ability. She offers that experience and she offers, you know, like a real determined attack. Just what a player in general. It's a shame, you know, there's a lot of third years. Um, Kate Snoddy. Oh, no. Ooh. Just as we comment on Annie Flanagan, she's muscled off the ball by Chester. And they go through referee waves advantage and here comes Chester. Down the way now. She's staying down. It's whipped in. Good hands. And well, a physical encounter. This is what <laughs> you want to expect from Varsity, really. You know, this is 
not geographically rivals, but well, every year they'll go at it. Oh yeah, it's it's a proper rivalry, you know. This uh, going stretching back, you know. I want to see generations, and uh, it's a physical um, altercation so far. The referee waved advantage there, but it looked like a, a pretty cynical foul just beyond the halfway line there. I'm su quite surprised the referee hasn't brandished a card, but listen, Chester got down to the byline just by the edge of the box, put the ball in, and the keeper did collect after it came off a sulphur player. There were mild shots for handball, but the referee waved them off. Well, from what I've seen, the goalkeeper today, Sophie Norton. Don't yeah. think we've seen much of... The shot stopper in the navy blue, but expecting big things. You know, this is if you're gonna if you're gonna come in for one game and have that performance, now's the time. Disputed number one, Katie Jenkinson. So we'll have to see how Sophie Norton gets on today. And goal, and that's not great distribution by Annie Flanagan. Will sweep up. Mix up with the back from Chester oh, here. Could this be it? Crossley chasing it down. Can't get on the and the keeper will boot clear though. Good chasing by Faith Crossley, and you know a mix up at the um, amongst the Chester back line there. Just got the ball stuck under her feet. Well, it's, it's a big game for both sides. You know, a lot of players. This will be their last time. You know, representing the uni. So. Just wanting to have that perfect ending and, and that great game. It's all down to how they react. So there's nothing nothing silly early doors. Play their usual game and the usual game's what we expect. You know, the, the, the two times we have covered them, a uh, third today of course, but um they've looked they've looked very good when it comes to passing it in short spaces. And I, I think that's a, a benefit that will come from playing nine aside. Yeah, I was just about to say that, bitch. You know, I think nine aside has its benefits, and especially playing nine aside so much. Uh, they're very good at passing in, you know, short spaces, as you did say. But just to comment on Varsity, you know, I think the manager will be saying, you know, just as you've said, play the game, not the occasion. 100%. Faith Crosley there with a ball into the box, which is collected by the Chester keeper. And Crosley is one we're going to have to watch out for today. Two goals in her last two. <laughs> yeah, she's she's been brilliant for the Salford seconds. And I tell you what, two very good goals. And Salford goes down there and the referee will wave a free kick. We've uh, seen this referee before, haven't we, Bix? What were your thoughts on him last time? Um, two words. Friggin' legend. Um, <laughs> said he loves. I think he said he's also studying uh, something in the media industry, and said, like, if you, if you could send send me the footage, I'd love to watch it. So, you know, first shout out today goes to the referee thing. <laughs> oh, counter attack petered out there by number five Fiona Swanson. And she does lift the ball over the top, which number eight, Noah Taylor will run onto. Shoots across goal, but in the end, straight into the keeper's arms. The liner was flagging for offside there, but the referee has ignored him. And yeah, that's what you want from Swanson. And it's, it's like many others, it's that first team experience which shows. And well, I think, you know, you've got two, two first team players in that defence. Yeah, it makes all the difference. Oh, interesting from the keeper there. Definitely could have picked the ball up. She's opted for the long kick, which, to be fair to her, it's looking to have worked, but... Intercepted by Flanagan. She can do that all day. She's coming forwards now. Oh, 
Here come Chester now. It's a great ball over the top. But the quality and experience of yeah. Flanagan there. You're not going to touch it. No, you're not. And that's really, like, that's where, you know, having a first team player comes in. Comes up Melhouse, as they say. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Something that upsets me a bit. You know, Salford Sport, we've tried to make an impact, but we've only been here for a year. And something that we've never seen has been having all these third years over time and second years. And it's, it's quite a shame. You know, we've never got to see, you know, the Kate Snoddies and the Flanagans over these generations. So, just upsetting, but you can tell the class is there. Dave Crossley caught in touch, and here come Chester. Takes a shot, and it's going to be our first shot on target of the afternoon. Safe hands. From Chester, that is. It's early doors, I know, but I would say it has been all Chester so far. Salford coming close, but just looking a bit timid in that final third. I'm hoping that could be the commentator's curse. A good effort inwards, looking to be cleared. Yeah, Salford just, just played to the occasion. That's all I've got to be saying. Yeah, Izzy Brown there, just getting him behind. Couldn't make anything of it. Shouts for offside from the Chester bench, and... To be honest, Bex, I did think she was offside, but here comes Chester now on the counter by Annie Flanagan, intercepted. Oh, oh, that's what you love to see. And that, again, like I mentioned before, is the experience and quality of Flanagan. And she puts across a great ball, but the keeper will sweep it up. And do you know what's nice about today, Bex? Obviously, vastly big occasion. We've got the names of the second team this time. We obviously don't usually have the names for the uh, women's seconds. It's a, different course, it's a different story today. Listen, and, and, and that is because we, we just do cover the seconds quite frequently. We do. This is our third time covering them. Just an early observation here for the uh, from the Chester side. That it looks like they're playing a very high line, which Shelford have been looking to exploit early on in this game and maybe that is the game plan you know exploit that Chester high line because they've you know there's been lots of passes which have found, which have found the Salford attack as well in behind the defence and the referee hasn't called offside on a lot of them so it is working and Salford are getting chances from those runs in behind And me and Finn, you know, we, we won't say we're perfect. Would you say you're perfect, Finn? No. Good man. Um, we've been watching a bit of Sky Sports recently, and, and instead of watching the game, we'll, we'll more listen to the commentators. And something that we've noticed is... Almost have to interrupt you there, Good hands, ball. good hands. Sorry, on. But yeah, something we've noticed is the commentators, they, they rarely speak. No, they don't, you know. They almost let the, the sport do the talking, yeah. which, is, which is what you want, and you know, as aspiring journalists and commentators ourselves that's what we're looking for and looking to learn off there's no shame in letting the game do the talking oh of course not of course not but I think there, come, there obviously comes a difference we are we're not in in however many high feet gantries with stats and statistics about every single player so I think the chit chat's good um, someone that <laughs> And, you know, he's getting, my second shout-out of the day goes to Lewis Speed. He is a man who knows how to have a good talk. Loves a bit of chit-chat, does all Lewis Speed. But it's like you said, you know, there's nothing wrong with it because at that level, they've got all the stats, statistics, you know, history. We don't get that here at Salford Sports TV, unfortunately. Not yet. So Wait, wait till the third year. <laughs> so we've got to fill that space how we can. And we hope that you like to hear our talking. <laughs> Yeah. 
And if you are watching this and you're, you're interested, you see what we're doing and, well, let's say you have a knack for women's football or or rugby or, or any sport, feel free to pop us a message. We're looking to um, exp expand what we've got so far next year. We've managed to bring a few people in, but really just have a go with it. So feel free. You know, we want to become a society. I'm not allowed to speak on this for legal reasons too much, <laughs> but um, it's a bit worrying on that front. It is. But regardless if we're society or not, we'll be here next year. Great challenge oh, from Flanagan. You. Build, I'm not being funny. When, when she leaves here, you name this 3G pitch after her. Nutmeg's her player. And then just a massive slide tackle. Great 50. Into the chest of play. And here comes Salford again. Another running behind on that right-hand flank. But it is petered out. But yeah, just a comment on that challenge. What a 50 that was from Annie Flanagan, you know, great. And it's what you want to see in games like this, where, you know, the stakes are high, the pressure's high, the passion is high. You want your players to show desire. Yeah, and we're not going to know about that really, are we, Finn? Today, experimenting, I could use that word, with one lit microphone and the presenter one. Yeah, so, you know, if my audio is a bit different to Vix's, you know, two different microphones, but it's, it's, it's what we've got to deal with, unfortunately, as, uh, you know, a lot of the lit mics got booked out for some reason, which uh, they never usually are, but, you know, it happened this week, and you know, on, you know, surprisingly, it's happening next week for the away varsity as well. So, I wonder who's bought them out, but but we let's focus on soften now. It would, to be fair, I'd say push Chester in a bit more. Oh yeah, definitely. They take, they take, they're trying to take the game to Chester a bit more now, which is what you want to see. But so far, Bix, this game has been very end to end, and it's been very even. And I would like to give a special shout out to um, Jen Horridge. Uh, she's in the fans today, in the just mingling. Uh, not a player, but her ex is a player for Chester. So she she made it a very big issue that everyone comes down to watch today. She does play for the second spin, yeah. <laughs> so a few words at full time could be exchanged. It might be like, um, oh, Annie it's Flanagan. the Annie Flanagan show. That's what you love seeing. She pings the ball. Oh, wide here. For number eight, Noah Taylor to run on to. Put it through the legs, but the chest of the fence still keeps it out. Oh. Noah Taylor with a chance. With another ball into the box, but this one's tame and it is cleared. And Jeff, and something we've seen is when the when the seconds usually play, it will be nine aside, and that does mean reduced minutes for the match. Uh, I think is it thirty minutes for a half normally? Yeah, it is thirty minutes, which uh, the Salford seconds usually play, and you know that comes into play in this game also, alongside with the difference in formats. Obviously, this being eleven aside, they usually play nine. This is 45 minutes, so fitness is going to be massive in this game. Because, you know, even towards the end of the first half and definitely by the end of the second half, these players' as fitness is really going to be tested. And it'll be about keeping those standards up, even though it, they will be tired. She's been involved with the play now, Crossley. 
would like to highlight, if she scores today, we are in for a treat. The signature <laughs> celebration, the dab. Finn hates it. I do. I love it. I, I, I don't respect it, to be completely honest. Wait for it. Bang. She Sorry. takes she takes a player. No foul, says the referee. Turkey, you've got to be. You don't fucking want it. Turkey, you've got it. Turkey, you've got it. Turkey, you've got it. She's down. No, oh, it could be her. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought she was going for her mouth first, and I think it might have been like a tooth or something. But it looks like she will continue, you know. In the words of um, what's it? Oh, what was his name? You know, she's a tough cookie. I think she'll carry on. <laughs> Good work from Crossley. And Crossley's through. She is miles onside. A chance to come through. She's gonna hold it up. She's gonna hold it up. Oh, is she? A be beautiful chop. Squeezing through. Just by diving over the ball and she's done a good work physically. Salford, pile on the pressure. Down the left now. Ah, bad ball from Turner, you know, just goes in behind. With a, when you've got the ball there, either line yourself up to shoot or look for the teammates. And it seems like she gets caught in two minds there because the ball ends up behind the goal. Salford really trying to take the game to Chester here, though. You know, and something I've noticed is, of course, there are many Chester teams performing today in many different sports. If you can see to like, real from the left side of that gazebo that's randomly shown up today, um, <laughs> there's a lot of red and white. No, there is. Um, to, yeah, to, to our left of that, you know, don't know whose gazebo that is. But sorry, I'll, in I'll interrupt myself here. As Izzy Brand is one on one here. Can here she, she do is. it? Opens up a body, slides in, great save from the keeper. Wow, but in all honesty there, Bix, I think that's less about the save from the keeper and more about the finish from Izzy Brown. That was a very subpar finish. You know, racing through one-on-one. -on -one. Power has got to be a factor, and you've got to place it, but she hits it very weakly, straight at the keeper's foot, and it's a re relatively easy save from what should be a hard position. A lot of emotions have got, got to be going through the head, but the one thing that she might not have seen as clearly, she had the option to the left. She didn't did. And I think another thing which she may not have realised, Bix, is you know, how much space and time you have, because you know, when you're playing in the game, it is hard. But yeah, like we mentioned before, just to, uh, just to the left of, that, of the uh, gazebo, it's, it's it's kind of like the Chester away end, almost. I love it, well, I see uh, two high visitors, I'm assuming they're the stewards, just to make sure <laughs> nothing goes on, you never know. Well, all I'm saying is when we're in, we'll be in Chester next week, potentially not broadcasting, so they might need more. Oh, yeah. Listen, we... We, we, we back our boys and girls in, uh, in Salford, no matter where they are. And we'll be there in Chester next week, covering the games or not. We will be there showing our love and support. On comes the Chester number eight. and You know what, you know what listen. We don't, we... Sorry. No, oh, a trip over the tripod. Oh, and something we, we don't want to... We don't really want to compliment Chester, but I love how a lot of their players, you know, they've got the red and black like on the on like just above the knee. Oh the yeah, cheeks. the face paint is brilliant from Chester. And I tell you what, it is good. And I think I'm if you if I'm, if I'm looking at it, I think Salford do have the same. I think is that a bit on Faith Crossley's face? I think it is. Face paint all over because you know they are going to war here. This is varsity books. This isn't just books. Oh, 
Oh, and she's just been implemented. And what an impact. Good kick by Sophie, but well, look at that. Just dribbling through the midfield. Plays a very good ball, but confident keeping. Oh, and not a good clearance. Finn Gainer, you take this away, mate. Number 10, Liv Turner here on the left hand side. Squaring it across goal, and number nine. And it's in. Number nine, Izzy Brand. Opens the scoring here in this year's varsity. It's a great finish, you know. Great ball from Liv Turner after the 14 clearance was intercepted by Hare. She squares it across goal. And Brand with a strike, which is very close to the keeper, but the power just means that even though she does get a hand to it, not enough to keep it now. And it is 1 0 Salford in this year's varsity so far. And the crowd goes wild. The seconds taking it to the red and white. And they take the early lead. Well, not so early, but this is a long game of football and getting one just past that 20 minute mark is going to be huge. And they could get another one here. Oh, she's fallen. She takes it past one. She looks up. Wow. Plays it across. Save not the cleared by the keeper, but he's still in play. Lovely spin. Oh my goodness. That is <laughs> exceptional. <laughs> Salford with the double. Extending their lead furthermore. And wow, wow, Abby wow. Lam. Take a bow, Miss Lamb. That is exceptional. Abby Lamb, what a goal. You know, she chases the ball, hits it at the keeper, keeper saves, Chester don't get rid properly. And then it's that part, which is brilliant. She picks the ball back up, swivels on it, and has the confidence to dribble then towards the goal mouth. You know, the keeper doesn't come out towards it. And she just smashes it beyond that, and it's 2 0 Salford now. The lamb has turned into a lion. <laughs> Ferocious, confident, and put her side two in front. A quick double from Salford, and it could be a quick triple. This, this could comes Luke Turner now. Am I like hearing cricket win. scores? Surely not. Surely not. Three. Oh, good save oh. from the keeper. To deny the third going in, and that just might keep Chester alive and almost give them a little bit of a lifeline. And you know, that might shift the momentum even. That's a big save at this point in the game because if it goes 3 0, you know, all within the space of about five minutes, it's basically game over for Chester, you know, mentally and within the terms of the game. But I do have to say, Bix, you know, Salford have deserved their lead so far. I would like to highlight, uh, it's gone very quiet in the away end. <laughs> it has indeed. But, you know, Chester aren't really giving them much to shout about here, but there is a chance for them to do that from this corner. But she does not beat the first man. Barry Bannon-esque. <laughs> oh, oh! oh! Wow, that came out of nowhere, Vix, you know. It's a poor delivery from the corner, and I think it's the, the deliverer, the one who put the original ball in, collects it, it after the after the ball is half-heartedly cleared away. And as she releases, I, I think you can call that a chip, Bix. You know, it's an audacious chip over Sophie Norton, which halves the deficit, and it's now 2-1 Salford. And it's like I said, Bix, that save over there from the Chester keeper, you know, moments before the corner was swung in the goal, came from it you know there was a big save from the Chester keeper and I did say that could shift the momentum because a, a moment like that at a moment at that point in the game sorry is huge and you know now they've halved the deficit and anything can happen now so uh, sort of just need to be wary No, this is what we wanted, you know. I've um, 
Only had the pleasure of seeing us off for Chester once this season in league action. The uh, the first. Uh, the first rugby league took them on. It's getting very physical. But seeing a competitive South for Chester game, I think that's what that's what I dreamed of. And I think that's what we all want to see here at Varsity. A good game, of course. There's only one team who wants to prevail. Ooh. Here comes Turner again now, picking up another loose ball. She's got a lot of green space to run into. Thanks to the Chester high line. And she's bobbing in and out, but in the end, the chest of the fence will get back to their keeper, scramble it back to their keeper, who does get rid immediately. And their keeper, she has an, a wonder of a foot. She can really get it up the field. Oh, it, I think she'd prefer to actually, you know, go long initially rather than pick the ball up and go out of her, feet, or go out of her hands. Sorry. I think she prefers it from the floor. Oh, and shouts are offside. Miles on. She's, she even stopped to run, really, from shouts. It's a shame. We keep, we keep going. That, however, was an offside thing. <laughs> Few changes for the ladies. Cross, Crossley coming off. Yeah, it's sorry zoned out there. It's usually uh, me who calls those substitutes. I'm not sure who's came on, but yeah, Crossley off. Did you see who came on? Or that was a Crossley off and not what you want to see. One of the seconds better players this season. And it's a risky approach. Of course, you know, the position does favour with what I'm saying. But uh, I think Chester have played a pretty high line defensively. You know, inviting Salford to run onto them. Oh, no. Nanny Fanning can close away. Sorry, Burks. No, they have. Listen, I, I mentioned it earlier. That Chester, look at that line. It's, it's well up by the halfway line, which, you know, it's almost unusual to see at this level of football. But it is catching a lot of them offside, and there it is again. You know, it is catching those Salford players offside a lot. A very, a very alternative approach, and I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. To be fair. Oh, listen, you love, to, you love to see a bit of tactical innovation, um, especially at this level where you don't usually see it. But you know, Salford have been trying to look to exploit that with those balls in behind, and that's where both of their goals have came from. You know, that ball in behind, which has caught Chester out. And I think, it, you know, usually when we talk about the women's team, it, the thing that is always the decider is usually the midfield because that has such a big play in it. But today, it's can those attackers beat that line? Can they just get through, catch Chester off guard and play into the errors? Oh, well, listen, that's what they've done so far. And, it's you know, both their goals have came from doing exactly what you've just said. Despite this being an even game, I do think Salford warrant their lead. I think that, I think it's very deserved. But Chester are a danger. Oh, controversial from the referee. 
which this chest line and the away end on happy with there just to run you through that there was a foul on the halfway line and the referee waves advantage but brings it back despite Chester being through on goal. Well, to be fair, Finn, you know, I, I stopped you there, but you know what? You are a referee. <laughs> <laughs> Finn is a referee. And, you know, I, I, I don't think he gets brought up enough. <laughs> oh, my. Finn, go and take it away, mate. His lamb running in on goal. Mix up between the keeper and the defender, but nothing will amount to it. Salford still attacking here. And Chester do get away there. Miscommunication from the defender and goalkeeper. But Lam there just needs to get a shot away. Well, we just like would like to say, Salford Sport TV, we offer exclusive footage. We offer videos of the match, which you can see all of your goals, play them back, and show them to your mates exclusively on Salford Sport TV. You're not going to find it anywhere else, Burks. Oh, you, you can't be getting fancy when you're losing, Finn. You can't. And there's another oh. ball in behind from oh. Abby Lamb. No. Kirsty Dainty trying to run onto it. But the keeper who's been, i tell you what, both keepers have been brilliant in their sweeping today. You know, oh, coming, yeah. out, coming out when they need to. They've both been brilliant. And that's another example of it there from the Chester keeper. I would like to highlight Lamb's pass outside of the boot, I think. A confident player today. Barry Bannon-esque. Barry Bannon wishes. <laughs> Barry Bannon wears uh, Abby Lamb pajamas. Shout out to Barry Bannon though if you're watching. Oh, there comes Abby Lamb now. We were just speaking about her. She's putting through 15's legs and she's bearing down on goal. She's enjoying herself today. She really is. Like She could have just gone straight, but she was like, I'm going to put on a show. You've got all these spotters coming down. She wants to have an effort and there's no another way. one. And that's what we need to see. After, just whip it off. Rip the band-aid. Punish Chester. Oh, wow. What a run from numbers. And she shoots. Oh, it's a premature shot from number 16 there. After what was a great dribble and run. I think she could have held her shot off a lot longer there. Yeah, no, powered through. Surely she knew she had more time than that. She, she could see her, her, her momentum was just so much greater than her opponents. But that's football sometimes, you never know. Oh. I may cry. When Annie Flanagan plays her final game next week. Oh, what well, great dribbling skills there from Noah Taylor. And she finds herself bearing in on goal again, but the defence does peter her out and the keeper will get rid. But Salford finding a lot of joy here, you know, as we've mentioned many a times, through that Chester high line, you know, whether it's the balls in behind or, you know, we saw a few dribbling skills on, um, on show here. Like, like you said, putting on a show for these fans. This next goal has to count for either side. The draw or a 2 0 advantage. Next goal's huge. And with the way the game's going, it could go to either side. Salford pinballing it around the middle. But the referee costs the obstruction. Goal kick. Offside, actually, Birch. Fix. Just good. Well, see, this is the 
the absolute pleasure it is having a referee in Finley here because <laughs> Finn is a referee and he, he gets to see what all this and, and that and and that means and of course I know all the uh, the, the signals Oh my gosh. Annie Flanagan. She, she hasn't put a foot wrong today. Um, I would just like to point out, Bix, that the Salford players do indeed have face paint, much like the uh, Chester players. Which is what you love to see. Yeah. The keeper coming out again here. She's been caught. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. I'll tell you what. I love that from the chest of the defender. What composure. And she she's drew him into midfield here. But I think it's the chest of number three. Yeah, I can just see beyond her ponytail. <laughs> Great composure there. You know, the keeper came flying out and must it. Substitution for Salford here. Off comes number 10, Liv Turner, who has an assist to her name for Brand's first goal. Coming on that, coming on for number 16, Jess Barnes. And someone who unfortunately won't be coming on today. Four seconds. His aim is match days. Um, featured in uh, their last competitive match. And, you know, we, we highlight her because she's one of the journos. And it's a shame she can't play. She's sick. She didn't make the 9 a.m. Cracking efforts were, you know, what a cracking effort on that journal journalism quiz. Oh yeah. Finn, were you at the 9 a.m. today? Of course I was. Finn wasn't at the 9 a.m. and he missed um, our, our weekly journal quiz. And do you know what? You could have pushed us over the edge. We could have got that 10, Finn. So how do you feel? I was gutted to miss. I um, I slept in past my alarms, and it's never nice to do. Uh, you know, but looking to make up for it by looking over the slides and commentating today. Oh, my Flanagan God. again. And, and she wins a foul there. But she's been mustard today, you bet. She's been brilliant. Honestly. Oh, Flanagan knocks it forwards. This could be it for Salford. To extend it. Goes below the keeper. Her ambition has caught up to her. Salford get the third. On the, really, on the stroke of half-time. And that is just what they want. Our striker, our number nine, Izzy Brand. Her second of the day. Picks up her brace. And you know what? It's so, so, so deserved. Varsity day. Brace. She's the hero today, the number nine, Izzy Brand. A great goal, you know, closing in on half time. The desire there to slide in just before the keeper can get her boot to it. Risk an injury. It's superb. Get listen, we don't have a newspaper. If we did, do you know what the front you know what the front page photo would be? Izzy Brown. Of course it bloody would. And there's, a there's two substitutions here for Salford. Number six, Kayla Bridgewater. And number three, Katie Hamwin coming off for number two, Izzy Bowers. And, sorry, just waiting for the number. Number 13, Bella Francis. 3-1 Salford. Again, this exclusive intel you get from watching us. Izzy Bowers, what a player. Superb. Listen, she's been brilliant at nine aside for the seconds this season. And I really like watching her play, but she's usually deployed in defence. 
And I was like, it looks like she's almost being that, you know, attacking midfielder today. She's playing very high up. She's a player of many abilities. <laughs> Versatile. What you need. It seems like she's almost playing as in, um, you know, the, the French centre mid, uh, Abili. Uh, familiar. Retired, yeah. I, I, I have heard of poses that sort of eight. She can go forward, she can go back. And well, I'm expecting that. I'll tell you what, who's really impressed me because Noah Taylor's dribbling ability has really, really impressed me today. You know, she's, she gets on the ball and she, she, you know, she's busy, as my dad would say. You know, she's busy. She wants to make things happen and she drives it on the chest of the fence each time she has the ball. And Salford Sport apologises for any language <laughs> that may have offended anyone. Um, of course, we legally have to say that. We don't do it. You know, one of our, uh, one of our, um, what they called? It'll come to me. I just said courses. One of our courses this year is law and ethics. So we've got to make sure we get them right. And um, I've just quickly searched it up. Uh, Chester, the seat that owns Chester is the Labour Party. <laughs> Salford, evidently, those fans needing to do their research. And I think what has been... Oh, she's miles on. She's miles on line. I'll keep that flag down. Um... I think I'm assuming the Chester first and second strain together, and the first I they do actually play a pretty similar high line, and you know there's going to be a more technical ability, of course, in that side. Flanagan pushed to the ground, and I'm furious. I'm furious with that. <laughs> Listen, it's not often I see Bix, my co-commentator today, angry, but the steam coming out of his ears. I'm having to hold him back. Flanagan over the free kick. Oh, lofted in. Oh, not sure about that. Oh, excellent finish. <laughs> it's a good ball for my Flanagan. You know, referee deems it as offside. He's got a better view than us. Oh, listen, we've the lino down there. We don't know which university he is from, but he has been giving a lot on Chester's side so far. Big head from Flanagan. I'll tell you what, Chester's number six. First thing she did when she came on was uh, dribble it past a few, a few players and just knock it through. But looking a bit cold feeted. Booking there, Bick. Sorry, we oh. missed that. It's a booking for number nine, Izzy Brand. We're not too sure what for, but. Izzy Brand goes into the book. Like the, the Mario Balotelli of this Salford team gets a brace and gets a yellow. Hopefully, the last booking we will see given to the number nine. First one of this game, though. I, on, honestly, we might as well not speak at this point because Annie Flanagan does it all for us. Just, just oh my, oh my gosh. I, I will I will well and truly be gutted next week if we can't cover this first team because it's not just her, that entire team brims with quality and, and, and to be able to actually speak on this, you know, with, with, our, with our insider knowledge that we've seen from going to Leeds, from seeing these games at home, it, it just, it's just going to be upsetting if we can't do it. Listen, dude. Oh, she goes down! Free kick D by the referee, I tell you what. Slight moans there for a penalty, but I think it was well outside the box. I think she was fouled outside the box and fell into the box, which obviously in that case, free kick. Referee spot on. The Chester technical area demanding fair takes it. 
Not sure who Faye is, but I'm assuming number 16. And the, the wind could have a play in this. Just calmed down, funnily enough, but could definitely add some swivel to this one. Number 16 to take. Oh, I'll tell you why it wasn't far off. It was dipping, but just dips beyond the bar and goes out for a Salford um, goal kick. Oh, oh, sorry. Just inches off. Not long left in the half, and for Salford, oh, it's been it's been a half to be proud of. Excellent defensively, tricky in the midfield, and lethal going forwards. Oh, they've played brilliant, the Salford ladies seconds today. And there's another ball through here for Abby Lamb to chase, cleared by Jesse. But no, it's been a good performance, and, that, and you wouldn't think that this Salford seconds team is one who only picked up. However many oh. points they did. Oh. I agree, Finn, I agree. And as we approach the break, I would just like to highlight Izzy Brand, what half she's had. And, and you know what, I'm, I'm not a betting man, but we are in the betting season. Um, but I'd, I'd stick a fiver on her to get another one this second half. Patrick Hero. Come on, taking short. Oh, and no Ooh. one's confidently got that. It's a free-for-all. It's cleared. Pinball in the box. And that is half-time. Salford three. Chester one going into this half. And, you know, great half by Salford. But work to do for both sides still in this game. If Salford want to get over the line or if Chester want to get back into this game. But what a game it's been so far, Bex Williams. Second half is underway. And what a start for the University of Salford. What a start. We were, we were just talking during the break about how well they've played to the occasion. And if they can carry like half of that, it'll be, I think it'll be enough. Yeah, as we end this half, I would like to apologise uh, to Jen Horridge. Um, it is not her ex, it's just her friend. I would like to emphasise, just her friend, <laughs> not an ex. No. You, you got what I need. You say he's just a friend. Yeah, sorry, Rex, we're here sorry. for the second half. Oh, Chester chasing the game, Salford looking to keep their noses in front. Oh, Looks like there's been a newly introduced substitute here, yeah, but there's a Tackle, which has led to Faith Crosley. Oh, go on, Faith. Faith Crosley gets a shot and goal! Oh, what a finish! It's coming! It's the <laughs> dam! The dam! It's her day! It's her delight! Crosley. Faith Crosley runs to the fans! Wowee! What a finish from Faith Crosley that is! You know, the tackle leads there being able to pick the ball up. She goes past one. And then I think it's, I think it's a cheeky little toe poke. Into the bottom man corner, beats the keeper. What a finish for Faith Crossley. And the dab does come out, Bix, but I'll tell you what, just because it's varsity. I love it. Yes. Back from the restart. And listen, Faith Crossley, you want to watch that goal? If you want to watch any of Faith Crossley's free goals, you can find that exclusively. And oh, that means only. That is what exclusively means only on Salford Sport TV. 4-1 at the restart. 
three and three for Faith Crosby. Jamie Vardy, she's coming for you. And someone who's never disappointed for the cameras, honestly. It's, you know, the, the seconds for the men's, they love it with, you know, the celebrations there with Powell. And it's, I think it's just the seconds for football. They just, they all love it. Yeah, Faith Crosley so loves the dab. Oh. Oh, listen, Finn, I, I, I'm all for a laugh, you know. I'm, I'm even all for a giggle. Yeah. But we do not want to see challenges like that in this beautiful game. 4-1 <laughs> Salford now here. Varsity 2024. Great performance from the women's seconds. Were you expecting this, Finn? No, not at all. No. I, thought, I, thought, I tell you what, I thought it'd be a lot more close. Uh, I thought it'd be a lot more of a closer game. But Salford really starting to run away with it now. And Chelsea and Chester haven't really been competitive. You know, I know we're only about, you know, what, four minutes into the second yeah. half, but they haven't really been competitive and they weren't towards the end of the first either. And listen, that's what people sometimes think they can do it, you know. Salford have put the work in. Salford have put the work in all this time and and, and they think they can just show up last minute and, and, and try to spoil the parade, but you can't. Hard work, consistency, is what gets you there. Yeah, you know. You're spot on, Bex. She's had plenty of time to run a lot of green grass with black dots. We'd we'll like to give a shout out to the, the new lineup on our side of this half. Um, Got a cop of it in the hand. The line up like in the other. How it should be done. Respect her. You know, and she seems to be a lot more um a lot more attentive than the last linesman. Yeah. Love checking the time. Did like checking the time. I'm he, sure you could see. I I think he got shocked actually that it, it just like about how many times did he check it? And, you know, if you want to see the linesman checking his watch, you can watch that exclusively on Salford Sports TV. So we have the all full match video coverage of the games. Indeed we do. Like we have for the other two times we've been here. Yeah, and I'd just like to mention yes. the uh, the second half introduction here of um, and I'm going to have a go at pronouncing it, Zo no. Zo Constantinou. I think that's okay, Constantinou. I'm going to go with it. Very similar to a, a Tottenham Hotspur manager. Yeah, maybe she knows him. And I'll tell you, I am, I'm very happy that for the remainder of the day, I will be covering these fixtures inside. <laughs> um, and Fitch, you you oh, 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 that's, that's disgusting, that's disgusting, that's a booking. <laughs> Big call for the referee here, I tell you what, Gents it could friend. be more than a booking. The referee reaches into his pocket, it is only a booking. I'll tell you what, I think she's been let off, oh, is the referee going to his pocket? No, she's just going in the book, and i tell you what. I think the uh, Chester number 10 there has been let off a bit lightly, as that was the denial of a clear and obvious goal-scoring opportunity. Yeah, dragged to the ground. It, it was it was barbaric. And Listen, we, we're just here to watch fast, clean and silky football, and that is what we've seen from the seconds. And listen, if you, if you can't play to that, you do not need to be putting in challenges like that, Fingerna. No, and Liv Turner looked as if she, you know, she picked the pocket of the number 10. But dragged back. There's not a lot to be jealous of, of Chester, but 
the bucket hats. I'm not gonna lie, I think they're up there. I would kill for a navy blue and yellow sulfur door. And for the hat trick, what a way to round this off it would be. Is he brand? Varsity. The big stage. You've already scored two. The crowd are looking to one woman. Brand. Nine. Goes for goal! Ooh, just over. Uh, similar to uh, Chester's one, and pretty much the exact same spot. Yes, indeed. A little bit silly now. I, um, I left my coat. Double substitution here for and... Salford. Number yeah, two, Izzy Bowers. And number 16, Jess Barnes. Coming off here. And I'm just waiting for the numbers before the place for turn around. Number six, Caleb Bridgewater. And it does look like number three, Casey Hamlin. And Kate Hamlin uh, does not have uh, the face paint on. It's just her tattoos on the legs. Maybe she has a Salford tattoo. And if I had a Salford tattoo, do you know who it would be of? Who? Hanny Flanagan. Well, we picked the one at half time. Uh, on the Salford bench, there is a cardboard uh, cut out there with the words, number four, can I have your shirt? And a picture of uh, Salford's number four, who is Annie Flanagan. And like, and like jokes aside, it's not a joke. She, she has been, honestly, one of my favourite players since since I've come to the university this year. I um, personally, the far Salford spot was like trying to cover a few of the spots teams and she was always up for interviews. She was always up for like having a chat about the game regardless of the score. And it is, it is, it is actually going to be such a shame to see her go. A great player as well. Chester here, not often to kick the ball out for the injured So Constantino, but the ball will roll back to Sophie Norton and goal. The referee will stop play. Have a second to fix the, to try fix the lens if you want, Thomas. I just cleaned it. Oh, soggy day, soggy, soggy day. Soggy, 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 soggy. soggy. And I was like, I put it to the thing and I was like, I'm playing along with it. And like, I just interrupted him like, oh, just how good are you? How good are the hockey team today? And like, he ended up just going like, why are you wasting my time? And I was like, nah. Like, you're wasting my time. So the hockey team probably fought on it all. And I am in for it. I think I may have missed the... Is that a megaphone, Bick? Sorry, I, I went to say... I went to just mention the substitute there as I think Zoe Constantino has came off injured. But I just heard a, a little megaphone from the... Uh, the I think it was the Chester away end. Yeah, well, the, the song read, I want to be a Chester Ranger. I would not after today's performance. Neither would I. I'm not too sure who's came on for Zoe Constantino, but... I think it's Kirsty Dainty, I think. Not too sure. And 
you know what? We have. I think we are very lucky to have a free GP. We've complained in the past that um, you know we're like, oh, there's no seats, blah, blah, blah. but oh, that's a great ball. Oh my, great sweeping though Never in from doubt. Sophie Norton. But um, oh, oh, oh my goodness! Effort from the halfway line. There. Tell you what, chance of sign her up, sign her up, sign her up, ringing from that bench. Um. But something you've got to credit is the pitch. Uh, I uh, I believe before this was installed, the games used to play just to the right of us on the grass. And, and with, with how many games go on and oh, the weather you get here in Greater Manchester, I could not imagine the state of that pitch. Uh, it's a um, you know it's a rainy it's a rainy rainy uh, I think borough is the word. Yeah. The of Manchester is as we're experiencing right now as the rain rages on. How's your touch? Curse okay, Dainty picking up the pieces. And well, she's tying with it. Poor ball from Dainty. Oh. That's going to be a few words here from the uh, referee towards the Salford manager. Buck into the manager. You know, the referee's made the correct decision there. Yeah, it did seem as if the Chester manager the, the, the got a bit I worked see, the, up. The, the day I see Sly Tackles be penalised in football will be a sad day for this sport. As if Flanagan did get a nick on the ball, you know, I didn't think it was a foul. And the reaction from the Chester manager in the eyes of the referee was unneeded. I think you're a referee. Um, have you had to, you know, issue the, these things to managers? Oh, you, you, you have to, mate. You have to, listen. You know, the managers, they like to get involved and, you know, they're passionate, aren't they? But... You have to take control by showing them the yellow cards and you can't always show them his boss, which the referee's done there and which I respect. An apology from the Chester manager and do you know I forgive him personally, Finn. What about you? Sorry, Bex, what was that? Um... Did you forgive the Chester manager he apologised to his team? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's always nice when the manager apologises. You know, that is one of the benefits of Salford Sport. We have the closest action. Just inches away, you can hear everything. And I'll tell you what, Chester have played most of this second half in their own half. The Salford have very dominated this match, 4-1 up. I don't think they're going to let that lead loose. Oh, they're doing the correct thing. Go for more. You know, inviting, inviting Chester saying, go on, if you want to try something, try it. Oh, yeah. But we're going to keep onslaughting you with this attack and we're going to, you know, barrow you in and just make this second half and make your time in Salford a living hell. Yeah, looking at the bigger picture, it's a great start to Varsity here. The, the first sport of Varsity oh. 2024. Oh, have I got it wrong, Vix? Have I got well, it if wrong? If you had the privilege to be at the Sports Centre for, I want to say 9am, okay. the archery Ooh, was on. Oh, okay. Well, apologies. One, then, of the of the first sports to be played in Varsity the 2024. First on, first on the 3G. Okay, I'll take that. And it's resulted in, you know, most likely, you know, a tough word, a Salford win. But we've got a lot more sports to come, haven't we, Vix? Yeah, well... Well, let's, I, I don't actually have the result of the uh, the archery, but well, let's hope it's positive because this could be an early 2-0 lead. Oh, it could be, yeah. And then you've got the shot goal, easily smothered. But, yeah, you've got the um, you've got the Salford men's seconds against the Chester men's seconds just after this. And that's, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. we, we both won't be there. No, because we will be at the cricket oh, yeah. instead, which is indoors, which we love because the weather isn't great. 
but yes, it's um, the cricket later on. You know, you've got more sports. Like you've got futsal much later oh. on. Netball, which netball, will be covered yeah. by me. And a shout out to our netball audience. Something we didn't realise, but you, the audience loves to see. We've got uh, our, our two most viewed videos, both on netball. Love netball. And just a substitution there. It's uh, Dainty coming off for. I'm not too sure because she's took Dainty's number. Is Never mind. Ignore me. Dainty hasn't came off. She's still on the bench. <laughs> I think she was getting something from the uh, the bench. It looks like she was walking off, but she's not. Sorry, I know, I know we talk about a lot of random things here at Salford Sport, but Finn, you know, it's a big day of filming. Uh here at the 3G and inside. How have you prepared nutrition-wise? Because Salford, well, they've been cooking. Oh, and it's And they Turner. are soon to be eating. Oh. Oof. Turner, twisting and turning. Oh. But yeah, Finn, what I wanted to know is, what have you had for lunch? I haven't actually had any lunch, Bix. I've, 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 you know, I woke up obviously late for my lecture, so technically it's been breakfast slash lunch. Some would call it brunch. Uh, but I've had a bacon butty, and it was very nice. And... I'll probably go and grab a packet of crisps before the cricket. What flavour? I've got some Wattets in the cupboard. You know, I love a Watter. I think very underrated crisp on its day. Listen, if, if Chester were a crisp, they would be a Wattset, in my opinion. Really? Yeah. I think Wattets are quite underrated. No, because you, you talk your cheesy crisps. You have your Wattset, but can you go wrong with a Quaver? No, you can't go wrong with a Quaver. Listen, I think a Quaver's Annie Flanagan. But listen... <laughs> I think your what's it today have been Noah Taylor, you know, underrated and gone under the radar, like they do. Some may not appreciate them, I know you definitely don't appreciate what's it's mix. Just like people may not appreciate what Noah Taylor has done today on that football pitch. That's the best country on this. That's incredible. How do you call the game your what's it? First chest the corner of the second half to come here. It's like Sevy's here, live in the flesh. Lovely start, Finn. Statman Sevy. No, no, no. Statman Finn today. Statman Sevy will be joining you with Jonathan. You know, we have that Polish Norwegian link up for the futsal. Oh, and the chest the player here. Ghosting beyond the defender. The ball's pinballing in the box. Shouts for handball. Ignored by the referee. Ball still not cleared. Should another shot for handball. Referee ignores it and Salford come away. And well, that was dramatic, but you know what? There were bodies on the line. There were blue shirts flying all over the gaff. And they've denied. Well, you know, it's one you definitely don't want to concede, especially when Chester just haven't had the chances to start. No, the last thing you want to do when Chester haven't had chances all game is let them get back into this game. And a goal there would have done that, but Salford managed to get away from it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I don't want to Chester players, they're running into each other, I think. 50s. Do you know what I mean? When you have that secure scoreline, that's when you can invite, you know, being a bit skillful, being a bit tricky, you know, putting on a real show. Is is that the time for Salford, or do you think it's it's just not worth it in this big of a game? Not worth it in this big of a game. You know, would you do it in a final? No, you wouldn't. And this is the equivalent of a final for both Salford and Chester. Biggest game of the season, Varsity. There will be a substitution now, and it will be Kirsty Dainty to come off. Are you sure? I'm, I'm, I think I'm perfectly sure this time. I've just heard the Salford manager shout, Kirsty, and number 11 is going off. Replacing her 
Yes, I'm just waiting for the number. Number eight. It's um, what's it to herself, Noah Taylor. Who's dribbling in this game? It's been fantastic. She's been very good. And the uh, just like to note the Chester number two coming on. She wears glasses, and of course, football. You know, you need the vision. You need to see the sport. But as with the rain. I'm sure it can be quite an obstruction. We're actually going to bring a Salford spot. Uh, he is technically listed as a good hands are. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Um, I'm going to I'm going to come to Sean now. Sean, you have glasses. I do. Um, you know, you've played in the rain. I assume a lot with them on. How how does that affect your your match? Uh, at the start, I used to wear them. I've taken them off since. But whenever you're running, if it's heavy, it's coming down onto them. You're constantly having to wipe them. So I just decided I'm just not going to wear them. It makes it a bit easier. Thank you very much, Sean. And you know, this is the exclusive, inclusive it we get from Salford Spot. We get everyone involved. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't pick and choose. We really do want you know everyone to be involved. Um, and you know, like we told Sean, we showed Sean a few a few weeks back, and I said, Sean, if you ever want to be involved, you can. And you know what? For Varsity, we haven't changed our mind. We've stuck to our word, and we've got him involved. Oh, Backwards header. Oh. Off the line. Sorry, Vicks. I've came alive there. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's those explosive header. And I can't blame him. You know, it was nodded on. Off the line from Chester. Chance for five. Dan Holding-esque. Dan Holding-esque. Shout out to Dan Holden. Oh, what a legend. What a bloody legend he is. We've loved covering the Salford seconds this year, and he's been a big reason off that. But Chester are in here through number five. She can beat her man, but she can't. Five on five. Yeah, Swanson getting red. It will be interesting. Um, again, God, sorry, we 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 are we are talking too much of the game. But to be fair, that should be because Salford have been so comfortable in it. But the difference in the microphones worrying. We do have a presenter one for Finn Gainer today, and it's very different. Oh, Crosley, Crosley that one Crosley. did not look nice. Crosley, Crosley, she's down injured. You know, face first into the 3G. Not what you want. Listen, there's one thing about face Crosley. She's a tough cooker, and I think she'll carry on. It's very good. It could be considered a head injury, no? I think that's why the referee has stopped play. He stopped his watch, and he will go check on Crosley. Norton, rough landing. Rough, rough landing. Oh, it's all for the Chester away end piping up. And Salford Sports apologises for any language which may offend. And well, I mean, apparently we all hate Salford. Well, we hate losing, and that is not what we're doing today. You know, in the words of um, the Spirit of the Blues, uh, we don't know the meaning of losing. So come on, come on, get down. It's a Peel Park. Peel Park. Salford. <laughs> You've never shone so brightly. Salford. Spirit of the, the blues. blues, yes, yeah. yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 We love the toffees here at Salford Sports. And it really is good news for the blues, isn't it? But the motor. Eh. Well, <laughs> we haven't won a game since the No, no, I, I meant oh, okay. as in. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, it's not good news for the Blues, but for the Navy Blues. Oh, oh, oh it's more than good news, well, you know, 4-1 off. We, if we're in Chester tomorrow and we're not, next week, sorry, and we're not uh, covering the games, I'd love to get some chance going. I don't think we have enough good chance here at Salford. Um, oh, oh right referee. Naughty from number three. 
Good point from Annie Flanagan. She already is already on a yellow. She shouldn't be pushing. And do you know what? If she wasn't on a yellow, that's going to be one. That's going to be one in the first place. So, um, it's not my decision. I'm not a referee. Finn, you are. Would you give a second yellow? I'd give a second yellow for that. Definitely. You know, cynical push. Tactic, you know, tactical foul, as some would say. She got past it. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who it was who got past her. Sorry, apologies for that. But the soft play got past her and she was beaten for pace, so she, she opts for the foul. And, she, in my and you know what the worst part of that is? She ruined my sulfur chat, which I was just about to go. Yeah, she did. Which she will come to you shortly after this free kick. Whipped in. Great ball Controlled. From the Handball, though, and the referee does signal the other way. And are you ready? I'm ready. You made other words. Okay. I never felt more like singing the blues when Salford win. It's just the lose of Salford. You got me singing the blues. Tell you what, great ball into the, no, it's not. Never mind, it's not great ball into the box. Chester Peter it out. Oh, and I appreciate that. It's good work of play. But Norton sweeping and do again. You know what? She she is a case for uh, for the player of the match. Oh, she does. She's been Manuel Neuer esque. But here comes Turner. You know, twisting and turning. No. Oh. But can't get the better of number four. This is, there are a lot of great Turners. Oh, oh, indeed, but here comes Chester now. It's a great ball through. And the referee calls for offside, which the Chester bench cannot believe. There was a flag from the linesman who, you know, isn't an official linesman, but the referees listened to it, to her or him. And Chester are not happy with that. And I tell you what, it did look tight, Bex Williams. <laughs> I don't, uh, did you see if the lineup put his flag up there? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. did, he? He did. Oh, well. Oh, well. We, we, we hate Salford, apparently, you know. <laughs> I respect it, like, they're chirping up when you, fought, when you know it's 4 1. And you know what? That that other side, they love giving giving it some lip. They do, dude. Yeah, bit of a controversial decision, but I'm not too sure. We let our football do the talking here at Salford. <laughs> Great touch by Hamlin. Chester play goes down, referee shakes his head. Chester growing increasingly frustrated here with the referee's decisions. But I have to say, Bex, I don't think he's got much wrong. Oh, he's had a great game. She's miles on. Referee, you've got to see that. Great oh. job. And the referee's waved on onside. Here comes Noah Taylor now on that right hand flank. But number three, Peters is out for a Salford Fairman. And I wouldn't blame Taylor for not wanting to go with that number three after that push earlier. Yeah. But that's one, thing, one of the things about football, but she's got to be fearless. Mm. That Lewis Speed at the uh, the first two weeks of our five aside, you need that fearlessness. Yeah, he's kind of lost it now, though. Lewis Speed. Never tell you a great oh turn. My. Silky, she's bearing in on goal here. She goes for goal. But it's, it's parried by the keeper and then pounced on. I would just like to say, Bix, Chester starting to enjoy a bit more, you know, just a bit more of the ball. And they're starting to attack Salford a bit more as well. You know, they're starting to find those balls in behind the Salford back line. And they're starting to work. They've had a few chances in this second half. And then they come again, Chester now, and th there's another one of them balls. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to come to much. Yeah, it seems the, the men's seconds for the football, they're getting ready for their match, which, of course, will be with you shortly. Well, that's going to be an exciting one, isn't it, Finn? Oh, yeah, definitely. That, that, I think that's the, uh, the headline game today, the Salford seconds against the Chester seconds. That'll be a brilliant game. So 
Got 15 minutes off to play here at Peel Park. Ball went behind. I'm not too sure what the referee has called for here. He's blew his whistle. And he will book the Chester player. I think for... It must, have been, it must have been for descent, Bix, which in that case, I'm not too sure why she hasn't been simbin. You know what? You can't be abusing the rest. We're here. So just do the same thing. He's doing watch a good game of football. So Someone has to be the referee. Enjoy that £10 fine. Oh, yeah. I think it's a bit more than £10, actually, Bix. Whoa. It's been a long time since I've played. <laughs> Cost a living. Thatcher's Britain. <laughs> Do you know what? Maybe, maybe this result could be what? The, you know, the first will see, of course, a few playing, but the majority will see and be like, why can't we do it? I know, of course, we don't have a great, we, we don't really have the good track record against Chester, but, hey, you never know, like, if, if if they're up for it on the day. Well, anything can happen in varsity, Bix, listen, and I know the reverse fixtures for the Salford first against Chester haven't been favourable at home. The Salford first lost 10-2 to Chester first and at Chester they lost 5-0 but anything can happen on Varsity and I think this result will give them confidence with a lot of the first team players playing and Jeff um, if you want to watch the women's game well we don't know we don't know if you'll be able to watch it of course um, we, will, we will not be covering it as things stand. Of course, if anything changes, you can find that on our Instagram. But as things stand, we, we don't know. If there will, like, if it wasn't for us today, there will be no way you could watch with your own eyes the game. But well, we, we, we would love to read it to you next week. We really would. I'm hoping we still can. We're just going to have to see um, how things happen. But if not, you know, I, I've been speaking with the lads. We, we would not mind at all, you know, coming down interviewing some of the players, getting some shots from the stands. Oh, here comes Salford now, and Liv Turner has been slipped in. Option to oh, her right. goal. Oh, she tried to beat her man. In that case, you know, I'm just screaming, shoot. Why isn't she shooting, Bix? What's she doing in number 10? Confidence. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it was it was missed foot or, or what, but she, I, I thought she was just trying to put on a, put on a performance, but unfortunately... But a samba. Yes. Yeah, but I tell you what, I, I want Chester put to the sword here. So I think they've got. I think Liv Turner's just lacking that killer instinct there. She's been threaded through. You don't need to beat your man. You know, trying to do a bit of a mudrick against Newcastle. What a goal that was! By oh the way. wow! Ball delivered though from the result. Going Liv Turner trying to chest it in. Please. Flanagan though Flanagan! gets a goal. She gets it. <laughs> Five for Salford. <laughs> And this she, and she deserves that. She really does. What a player. What a defender. And what a leader. In her third and final year. A true send-off for Annie Flanagan. Annie Flanagan bleeds the blow of Salford. And, and she just pokes it beyond the chest. The keeper there. Very emotional celebrations. But a deserved goal on her last varsity for Annie Flanagan. And you know what? It's, it's the loudest cheer of the night. 
Oh, it is, yeah. They can all take you the bottom for Annie Flanagan. You know, what a farewell this is for her. And she will be playing at Chester, but this will be her last home game. And, oh, she, and she says goodbye. She graces the Peel Park pitch for the last time with a goal. Just stick her up top for rest at game. Oh, yeah. Make this hat trick race exciting. And you know what? Oh, she's coming off, it seems. Oh, it could be a word from the gaffer. Is she coming off or is it worth it? Oh. No, she, she's coming off. And Faith Crosby will be reintroduced into this match. Almost the passing of the torch. Yeah. Complete with Faith Crosby being a first year. Pass another torch. I like that, Bix. But Annie Flanagan gets a goal. And so far it is five star Salford. Salford five. Just the one. Great touch from our cameraman, Thomas, who we give a shout out to every week, but Varsity's no different. He works so hard on that camera. And do you know what the thing I love about Thomas is? He's here every week. Oh, he well, fail. And like he didn't go, he didn't go, right, guys, listen, you guys can do all the hard work throughout the season, and I'll show up for Varsity. He said, no, I'll show up today, and I'll show up every other day. What a man. Yeah. Bleeds blue and yellow. And, you know, Salford, of course, playing the yellow, the gold, whatever you want to call it. I wish they played in an orange, because um, there's a Scottish team I saw, and they have a chant that goes, oh, God, no. we'll, give, we'll give applaud, it's gone, Finn. <laughs> and substitution for Salford, number 15 coming off, Felicity Kennel, for number four, Annie Flanagan, back. coming back on, this time with the captain's armband. Return of the Mac. Return of the Flan. Return of the Flan. Flan Dyke. Coming in at centre half. Here's Latena now. Latena cuts in and shoots. Claimed easily by the keeper. Yeah. Oh. Flanagan barking orders from the back. Barking encouragement. Captain fantastic in this match. <laughs> and our commentator, Bix Williams, getting his head on the ball there. Great head of that, Bix. I didn't want the I didn't want the camera getting touched. Sorry, ref. Bex Williams being told off by the referee. Listen in football, you don't you don't take risks. You really don't. And listen, we may we may get told off. We may even get a, a snarky comment. But do you know what? Body over anything. Yeah. Passion. Swanson to take the throw. Another substitution here for Salford. Number 10, Liv Turner coming off alongside number 8, Nabba Taylor. And replacing them, number 7, Zoe Constantinou. And I think that is number two, is he, Bowers? Never mind, I don't think it is. <laughs> is that Izzy Bowers? It's not, sorry, it's not Izzy Bowers. It is number 12, Abby Lamb. Apologies. Do Finn may not remember her name, but you all will. Watching. Great goal for her, wasn't it, earlier in the game, Finn? Oh, superb goal. You know, the swivel on the ball, the finish, the desire. I loved everything about that goal. And as the two Salford players walk off in unison, what do you think they're talking about? I think they're just talking about just getting. You know what I mean? Varsity, it's all but wrapped up. 
five star performance from Salford today and I think they'll all be chuffed with that and it will give them such confidence going into next week because I think a lot of these players will be reused before next week's got match away at Chester for the first and to say this is their first win of the season if, if you of course they did uh, they get a, they got a one via a forfeit last week but this is their first one that you know they've played for and what a time to get Ooh, it oh and Izzy Brand getting there before the keeper then you know the keeper waiting for the ball to come to her so she could grasp it into her arms but Izzy Brand who's hunting for a hat trick got there just before but couldn't direct their shot goalwards I mean I hate to say it but my five pound bet it's in jeopardy oh it is indeed but Izzy Brand make me the money back please Izzy oh she's hat trick hunting Keep it in the corner, says Flanagan. Flanagan barking that they have to keep it in the corner, even with that four-goal advantage. You know, there can't be too long left now. Okay. Just enjoy like, it. This is all about bragging rights. So I just think there is absolutely nothing wrong keeping it in the corner. Enjoying yourselves. Just having a bit of fun. We have um, approximately about three and a half minutes left. Um, that the referee's going to add much time on with this match which been over as a contest but yeah yeah and what a performance it's been from Salford today they have truly dominated Chester and they've deserved this this advantage which they have you know the full goal advantage I, I can't say you know it's not undeserved is it they have been fantastic super Salford today here's Izzy Brand Shrugging off the chest of the players. It's like that picture of Messi. And she puts the ball into the box. Head of the way. Sliced it. And it's Brand into the box. Unselfish. Across goal. Can't find the sulfur shirt. But Abby Lamb. Winning the back, beats it, man! Oh. Lamb! Oh. 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 oh! Makes it six! And Abby Lamb gets her brace on varsity day! Chester being well and truly battered. And what a goal from Abby Lamb yet again, showing how composed she is on the ball when she has that ball at her feet, you know, twinkle toes, takes it round the defender, and a great finish. Faith um, Cross will be willing the crowd on. Chester get battered everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. And it just so happens today they get battered at Peel Park. I just I cannot wait. They're, they're, they're going to celebrate this for the entire day. You know, they've they've done it and, and what a fashion. You know, they could have scraped by. They've done it a lot. They've scored terrific goals. And as you know, as one of the players comes off, she does it, she, does, she receives the applause she deserves. And it's Jess Barnes, number 16, who's coming off now. Replacing her, unfortunately, not too sure yet, due to the fact she hasn't turned around to show me her number. But I'll update you when she does. I think it is Liv Turner who did replace Barnes. And, you know, as the minutes tick down, Salford have had to play an extra 30 minutes to what they're usually used to. It's like, it's like, it's like you wouldn't even have noticed. They have been physically just on it today. They've, they've played with such confidence and they've just not stopped. Oh, I know. oh go on, Sophie. Give it some. There's nothing. But no, you're not wrong, Bex. You know, fitness. We, we said at the start of the game it might come into play, but it really hasn't. You know, the sort of players don't 
look tired, despite the fact that they're used to playing 30 minutes. Each way that is, sorry. And the Chester 16 doing quite well there with Faith Crosby on her back. Barrage of substitutes here from both sides. Fiona Swanson, number five, coming off. <coughs> and replacing her. Replacing her, number 11, Kirsty Dainty. She's reintroduced. And her first contribution towards the game. Oh my goodness, we are getting a scam phone call. Hello, hello. Well, they did not I think my voice was intimidating enough, and they hung up. Not good enough. Um, but I don't think, you know, answering the call right now would be the best idea, just because these players do deserve their plaudits for what has been not just an impressive game, but an impressive few games. We, we have not oh, been disappointed. Sorry, oh, that is very good. Oh, my. Get in. Amlin puts them on her. Amlin taking a yellow <laughs> for the yellow and blue. <laughs> Say, listen, yeah, you can't come around, you can't come to our, our house. Docks about on the ball like no, that. you can't. And Katie Hamwood straight through the Chester player, going into the book, just showing her passion. You know, it is varsity, that happens. She didn't Chester, she tackled her. I like that. Bow is finding Lamb and oh, Lamb swivels oh. as she's bearing down on goal. Could she be the hat trick hero instead of Izzy Branch? She shoots and it is oh. a hat trick for Abby Lamb today. A varsity hat trick to make it 7 1 to Salford now. And my word, has this been a battering? Screams before it's even gone in the back of the net. She knew. And just what a performance, honestly. Well, we were saying it might be Izzy Brand who ends up with a hat-trick, but she will most likely end on a brace. It's Abby Lamb who has the Varsity Day hat-trick. And that is full-time. Abby Lamb grabbing her hat-trick with mere seconds on the clock left. And Salford do take the win in this Varsity match. It finishes Salford 7, Chester 1. And now it's party time a smashing in Salford a great performance in Greater Manchester and a big point on the board for Varsity a round off for what may have been a few of their players final games for the university and what what a result for it to be you know congratulations to every single one of those Salford players they dug deep and they just put in a performance to be proud of. Congratulations and commiserations to Chester. You know, they didn't stop at all this match, but Salford, so deserved. And as they go to celebrate and as we got to collect the interviews, I just want to say one last time, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Liam Dolan presenting the match. He was joined by me and Finley Gaynor on commentary. Thomas Chandler behind the camera. And we will see you in the next one here with Katie and Annie what, what, what could we say you know you let your football do the talking <laughs> how did you find today you know what I think com from coming from the girls not playing in 11 yeah. aside we didn't know what to expect but everyone turned up and wanted it they just wanted it I think that's yeah, that's I think what, what sort of showed we came in not having like, we've had like one game of 11 aside practice and it didn't end too well for us but then Chester have been playing in the book season all league. We've come in expecting not, not for anything good to come out of it, and then we've, we've thrashed them. And we've all put a graft in for massive it. Massive shift in, massive shift in. Absolutely grafted. And you have, you have goals to show, Annie. Got on the score sheet today, you know, you're normally at the back, you came forwards, and how does it feel to get one, especially at this occasion? You know what, it's just perfect way to round up the season. We've not had the best, best of seasons, but to come here and actually show Chester how we can play. It was a good feeling, good feeling, especially for all the fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to do it for them.
Good stuff. And yes, it's the first, of course, you know, you got the, the forfeit win last week, but this is the first win for the seconds all season. And yes. What, what a time to do it. Um, you know, looking on to next week, uh, not sure who's going to be playing, but there's the job for the first to do. A lot is on the line, but you guys have got such a huge point. And congratulations. Thank you for everything you've given to this university for, for three years. And enjoy tonight. Thank you. Thank you.